Hi, my name is Buzz Coates, Norbane's Security Solutions Specialist, and today I'm going to talk to you in our series of market opportunities about the transport industry. Now, when we talk about the transport industry, we shouldn't be sidetracked by big projects like HS2 or airports. There are lots of opportunities within the small and medium enterprise market. Therefore, growing your customer base and generating more revenue. And being a distributor, Norbane are very fortunate to see lots and lots of projects going on in the transport industry. And therefore, that puts us in a good position to help you with your requirements. So let's look at a few areas, what we see, what's going on. So as mentioned in town centres in our previous videos, we are seeing a need now for electrification of electrification lanes, maybe encouraging people to actually go on their bikes. So what you'll probably see in some city centres, yeah, will have places where you can only have pedestrians and bikes instead of vehicles. Obviously, this will need protecting and a way to do that will be to use video. And it's been well mentioned that bike theft is up considerably over the last few years. So where we expect people to ride bikes into city centres or town centres, we're probably going to have to have a call for more lockups. And we are starting to see that now with access control lockups, etc, etc, coming into fall. In addition to this, we are seeing city centres and town centres wanting to limit petrol and diesel cars coming into towns. And so from that point of view, if we just want to make sure electric vehicles are coming in, we can do that by the use of AMPR. But AMPR by itself is not 100% secure because I can plagiarise plates. So what we are seeing within the analytics development, we are seeing make and model and colour of vehicles to ensure that the car matches the number plate. And when we're talking about analytics, what we are seeing is councils using more and more video analytics to ensure they do get the travel congestion flows, etc., etc., all working for you in a better way. Another area to look at is bus and coach upgrades. Typically, these have always been analog, but now what we are seeing in the last, especially the last sort of four to five months here, we are now starting to see genuine inquiries into going over to IP. And what they're looking at basically at the moment is using SD card recording on the cameras. And then as the buses come then back into the depot, they're then offloaded, uploaded onto servers. So whilst you're traveling, we are seeing a number of changes here as well. So typically in a taxi now, you will see CCTV cameras, not just to protect you, but to protect the driver as well. Take that onto trains. What we are seeing sadly is a bit of abuse for um, staff on board trains. So we're starting to see trials of people using body worn cameras to make sure that anything that happens can be dealt with accordingly. And within transport, we are obviously still seeing the rollout of smart motorways. And although this is excluded for most people, there are other opportunities around that because obviously where stuff is stocked for building, et cetera, et cetera, those parts need to be protected as well. And I think this last bit that I'm going to talk about should be of no surprise to any of you experts out there in the field. And that is in the depots like your airports, bus station, train stations, we are starting to see multi-sensor cameras used quite a lot in those areas because open, wide, public space areas really do get covered well by a multi-sensor camera. And the advantage of a multi-sensor camera is if you are using a VMS, one license covers four cameras. So if you'd like to find out more, yep. You've got it. Head over to Norbane TV or give us a call.